Imagine this, a crispy, crunchy, salty snack that you could easily make at home and feel good about eating. Well, that's what I've got here for you today and this is the kind of recipe that I get excited about. I'm Danny Spees and for this quick bite, I'm making my roasted chickpeas with Indian spices. And here's all you'll need. Two 15 ounce cans of garbanzo beans, two teaspoons of curry powder, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and just a quarter teaspoon of garam masala, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and one teaspoon of kosher salt. So I've got my oven preheating at 400 degrees and the first thing that we're going to do is make the spice mixture. Now this is a mixture I learned how to make from Artie, from Artie's Party, and she makes this for her popcorn so I thought it would be perfect for the spice chickpeas. Now, all we're going to do is combine two teaspoons of curry powder, a nice sweet curry powder, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, that's going to give it a good kick and then just a quarter teaspoon of garam masala. Now if you didn't have this, you could just sub in some cinnamon. It's nice and sweet. And then one tablespoon of kosher salt. Then just take your fingertips and bring all those flavors together. Okay, once you've got all the spices mixed together, you're just gonna set that aside and then we're gonna move on to the chickpeas. Now, all I did with the chickpeas was rinse them and drain them under some cold water just to get all that starchy, salty liquid off that they come in. And then what we're gonna do is dump them out onto a clean kitchen towel. We wanna make sure that they're good and dry before we roast them, otherwise we're not gonna get that crunch factor that we're looking for. Okay, looking good, nice and dry here. So I'm just gonna grab the edges of my towel and get all the chickpeas into a nice big bowl here. Ooh, in you go. Then what we're gonna do is toss them with about a tablespoon of olive oil. It really doesn't take much because all you need to do is get a nice thin coating of the oil all over the chickpeas. So just toss them about. Okay, so once you've got a nice even coating, then you're just gonna grab your spice mixture and sprinkle that over the top as well. Then you just wanna toss the spices and make sure that they're evenly distributed amongst all those chickpeas. Now once the chickpeas are ready to go, you're just gonna sprinkle them on to a nice big rimmed baking sheet. And make sure that it has a rim because if it doesn't, you're gonna lose all your chickpeas. <laughs> Then we're just gonna pop them into a 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes. You're really just looking for them to get nice and brown and crunchy. Mm. So not only are these great as a snack as is, but what I find myself doing with them is sprinkling them on top of a salad or on top of a bowl of soup, and it's like a modern day crouton. They're crunchy and absolutely delicious. Okay, so let's check them out. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, perfect. You see how they're nice and golden brown? That's exactly what we're looking for. But the real test is in the shake. So you want to shake the pan around a little bit. And you hear that noise? That's how you know they're good and crunchy and crispy. So let's give them a few minutes to cool down and then we're going to just plate them up. Now what I like to do is to pop them into a container that has a lid so that I can store it for the rest of the week because I find if I just start snacking on them right away that before I know it I've ended up with two cans of chickpeas in my belly. Not the best place to be. So this way I snack on a few now and then I have them to use throughout the week. So the next time you're looking for a crispy, crunchy, salty snack, you've got to try these roasted chickpeas with Indian spices. For more clean and delicious recipes, check out dannyspees.com. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another quick bite. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Mm.